Hello YouTube. Um, I came up with this infinity paradox kind of deal uh, just yesterday and I went to my class uh, to school and I asked people and everybody agreed on what the answer is except me. So it's either I'm crazy everybody else is right it's a slim chance that somehow I got it right. Um, so I figured I'd share it with YouTube, uh, with you guys. Maybe someone can can uh, or that knows stuff about math could figure this out. I don't know. Uh, so, anyways, here's how it goes. Uh, you have the red side and you have the green side. Make this quick. You have a dot, and there's red and green. You have a dot, which can travel at the s at an infinite speed. These two uh, line, like th you got a track here, and it's it, one side's red, one side's green. Both sides go on forever. It's infinitely long in both directions. And you have a dot that, when moving, travels infinitely fast. You have a dial here. If you point it, if you put the dial pointing this way, the dot will go at an infinite speed in the red direction. Middle, it stops. This side, it goes in an infinite um, speed towards the green direction. Question is simply this: If I turn the dial to the red dot, uh, to the red side from the stationary position here where it's dead smack in the middle and it started zooming this way and you stopped it now it's infinitely far away because remember it's traveling at an infinite speed can it get back to the green side or not that it can get back it started here but can it eventually reach the green side my reckoning is it can't. Once any amount of time is spent traveling towards the red side, it will never, ever see the green side. Even for just the most infinitesimally small amount of time, it's going infinitely fast, infinitely far away, infinitely sec quickly. <laughs> I believe it'll never reach the green side. Even if you turn the dial towards the green side and it starts traveling at, this, at an infinite speed towards the green side, you would have to make an infinite journey with an end, which I don't think is possible. Now, everybody else I've asked says yes. If you turn it to the red side, then you turn it to the green side, you'll just like that, get back to the green side. Or get to the green side, then start moving to the green side, switch it here, you get to the red side. Or that it would take some amount of time. There's one person who said instantly, everybody else said it would take an amount of time to get to the green side. As much time as you spent going into the red side. I don't think so. I think you could just have it go towards the red side for an instant and then spend an infinite amount of time trying to get to the green side. You'll never do it. So anyways, uh, that's my infinity paradox. Please let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Do you think it can go on forever? I mean, not that once you get into the red, you can never come back. Or do you think once you get into the red, you can, by turning the dial back towards the green side, at the speed at an infinite speed, get back to the green side eventually. You, either instantly or just as much amount of time as you spent going towards the red side. I'd like to hear what you guys think, so thank you for watching.